Windows 11 is ready to hit the shelf. It's October 5th is the big release day. And because of it, I thought I'm gonna share with you some of the features that excited me the most when I got to try them out and work with them. So check it out. Here we are on the beautiful new screen of Windows 11. The most noticeable change is definitely the start menu, which is now at the center. This is extremely helpful if you have one of these widescreen displays, so you don't have to go all the way to the left. Obviously, they overhauled all of the design components. For example, if you make a right click on something on your desktop or a file, you now have up here, share, copy, paste, renaming, and just the other icons as well got basically upgraded. Also, if you hit the start menu, you will notice that the live tiles have been gone. They're no longer here, where before in Windows 10, you may have your weather, etc. This is now in the widget pan, which you can click here. It will open, you have your weather, you have all the information, you can customize it to your liking. If you have a touch screen like myself, you can also just swipe in from the left and the widget screen is here. In Windows 11, also the multi-desktop feature got upgraded. If you click down here, you see the multiple desktop. You can now choose individual background, so it's easier to figure out which one is which. You can also name them and you can use emojis to make it more fun as to which you want to choose. You can also use Control, Windows key and the arrow key to switch between the desktops, left or right. A super cool new feature that I will going to be using a lot is what you can do with snapping it to grids. Now in Windows 11, if you hover here over the maximize button, you see common patterns, how people like to put up windows. So let's say I have multiple browser windows. I could say do this in the upper right corner. I can then, for example, move the Seahawks game on this side and then at the bottom let's say it's the documentation of something i need to read up to obviously we could also switch that just simply out and make it more practical move this one over here and the seahawks game at the bottom so i can stay up to date with what is happening what is also cool is if you go now down here you will see he remembers the group here as well as the individual windows so you can easily go back right to here even if you let's say clear the whole desktop you go here you say restore the group the cool thing about this it will remember on which monitor you have that so if you use an external monitor and you go back it will actually remember that this is the grid how you like to use it microsoft has also updated the tool where you can dictate notes or text for those who remember, it works across all the different tools as it is part of Windows, not of a specific app. So if you're anywhere where you can write text, just simply use Windows key and H logo. This will open it. And now with Windows 11, you can say auto punctuation. And so if we're clicking in here and hit listening. Are you excited for Windows 11? What will be the first feature you try out? I know I'm super excited and I do love this feature with dictation and auto punctuation. As you can see, he now adds the question marks at the right points and a, punct, uh, a dot at the end of the sentence, which is super helpful. And again, this works across the board. Now, before we close it out, I wanna show you a free tool that allows you to customize Windows even further. Just go to your favorite search engine and search for Microsoft Power Toys. We'll give you this link, this tool, and I will probably do a future episode just about this tool alone, it allows you to do a whole bunch of more customization beyond than just what comes out of the box. I hope today's episode was helpful to you. If so, please give me a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe. If there is any of the features I missed or something that you really liked, please let me know in the comments or if you want me to deep dive in any of the features. Also, just leave a comment and happy to do that in one of the upcoming episodes. And with that, D-Dave Kurt out.